So this is the high backs area in the burn hill. Previously it was used as a fly titting area. There was overgrown grass, there was burnt out mattresses, you know, it was really hazardous. A lot of antisocial behaviour would happen here and it was just an area that people just would never use. And as you can see, it's a great asset. Developing this community garden was always about our young people. They're going to grow up in it. We wanted them to take ownership, we wanted them to take pride in it. When we had cut back all this grass and, you know, it was just a big open area, it sort of overwhelmed us a wee bit. Um, and we sort of thought, how are we going to manage this? And having the community payback team here and Action for Children, we were really fortunate that Malcolm and his team have been here and, and, and made all these things happen, like building the fences to plant ours, you know, upcycling wood. And, you know, it's just been fantastic having Malcolm and his team here. Action for Children were contacted by Burnhill Action Group to see if we could come up with a plan for this piece of ground over six months ago and after a consultation period with South Lancashire Council and the Burnhill Action Group drew them a plan, everybody agreed to it and then we brought in the, the young people to do the community payback orders and for there they developed everything that was drawn on that plan for the benches to the planters to the coffee hut to the stage everything you see in the ground just now for the allotments etc it's a whole multi-agency involvement we've got partnerships with glen cairn junior football team who allow us to use their toilet facilities. We've got um, Hugh Sterling provide materials and train staff to come in and do some training and give our young people qualifications in health and safety. So for young people coming back and volunteering and um, once they've completed their orders they've come back and spent some time volunteering. It's all been positive. The kids are now starting to come in and use it and it's a wonderful space, it's safe. You're away from main roads, traffic, you know, so it's, it's a fabulous area. It's still about encouraging people, you know, to get outdoors, encouraging positive mental health, physical health, engaging with your neighbours again, reducing that isolation and just connecting um, with local people. So there is challenges, there is hurdles, but don't let it put you off. Go to your neighbourhood planning, see if they can help you. Speak to your community engagement workers. These people are so approachable. We now have, you know, a really peaceful, quiet place where people can come and just enjoy the noise, enjoy the silence, enjoy just enjoy the green space.